Scots have been making whiskey for over 500 years. It's a skillful process and one that whiskey makers have refined over the centuries. Malt whiskey is made by what is called the pot still process, which involves malting, fermenting, distillation and maturation. The first step is to malt the barley, where it's steeped in water, and then traditionally spread out on a malting floor and allowed to germinate. Today, modern high-tech maltings serve the same purpose, preparing the starch in the barley for fermentation. The malting process lasts about a week until germination is stopped by drying the cereal in a large oven called the kiln. Once the barley is dry, the malt is ground in a mill and the crushed grain, called grist, is mixed with hot water in a mash tun. The starch in the malt is broken down and creates a liquid called wort. The wort is transferred into large vessels called washbacks where yeast is added. The yeast causes fermentation of the wort, creating alcohol. This is known as wash. The wash is distilled twice in distinctive copper pot stills. First in the wash still and then in the spirit still. These act like large kettles heating the liquid. The alcohol vapors rise and pass over the top of the wash still before being guided through condensers and returning to liquid. The resulting spirit known as low wines is forwarded to the spirit still where distillation is repeated. Only the heart of the run, the purest spirit, is collected in the spirit safe, which is kept locked as tax is now due to the government. The clear spirit is poured into oak casks for the long period of maturation. By law, the spirit cannot be called Scotch whisky until it has matured in Scotland for at least three years. Many whiskies are matured for much longer. As the spirit matures in the cask, it develops in flavor and acquires its renowned golden color.